There's no sign of an end to the standoff between Occupy protesters and the Wellington City Council. The deadline on the protesters' eviction notice passed a couple of hours ago, but as Daniel Faitawa reports, they're not budging. Defiant and unwilling to leave. They can arrest me. I'm not too worried about being arrested. Almost three months on, a handful of protesters are still camped in Wellington Civic Square in breach of a City Council eviction notice. We're going to outstay an eviction notice. They know we're going to go into dialogue. That dialogue is outlined in this letter, presented to the council in response to the eviction notice. In it, the protesters accuse the council of twisting the law. The council arguing this bit of land is being used as a camping ground. Prima facie, they're parked up in tents on grass, and I think you know, most people would probably look at that and go, that sounds like camping to me. They've interfered with the protest, calling it a, camp, a campsite, and, and put rules and regulations on that camping. We pay the rich for being rich. It's an occupation that began back in October, with tent cities popping up in central Dunedin, Auckland and the capital. It was a response to a wider global movement against corporate greed. In Auckland, the council took protesters to court, a judge ordering them to move on. But a hearty few refused. We'll obviously be taking legal advice because, um, as we all know from the Auckland experience, these things are, can be quite complicated. Complications that could mean these protesters are occupying for a little longer. Daniel Faitawa, One News.